<laughs> I hope that wasn't somebody saying in the background that jungle wood is gross, because I'll have you not. No, it's not. It's my daughter. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, 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 no. Actually, yes, you do have to apologize for her. She's under 18. Uh, but... <laughs> Uh, one of the other things that I quite liked about this structure, uh, right beneath this uh, other structure, which has always been Scott's, I think it's one of the actually older buildings, yeah. it's 2.0 server for uh, Polycraft, is when I was digging out this space, uh, the Chris D was like, gee Dan, wouldn't you mind leaving some real estate for other people in town? Because right initially at that time, we weren't going out beyond initially the 100 by 100, and then... And then we extended it to a thousand by a thousand, and then it's kind of like now, well, whatever. Uh, and uh, the Christie claimed absolutely no land in town then or before now, and uh, so now if he complains, we can just blame Scott. There's well, he has his own place now, so on, uh, whatever. Well, I know, I know. I just it, it's I just like the trolling history of it. Yeah, um, I guess we can check out my tower next. Yeah. Uh, okay. Fix that. the tower of power. Yep. Yeah, no sense of ego at all, by the way. No, absolutely none. <laughs> well, I didn't like that other name, but anyways. What is the name? Let's see. <sighs> I didn't oh, it actually it was... is called the Tower of Power? I was just totally kidding. No, 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 it is called the Tower of Power. <laughs> <So> <laughs> well, Dusky called it, <laughs> called it Scooter's Buffs and Stuffs, and I didn't like the implication, so... Yeah, I... Well, apparently I can't even tell you what they mean. You should be able to know. You know what it means. So we'll just keep going. Uh, uh, I'm sure Urban Dictionary is your friend for that. So, um, yeah, I haven't done much cool. but build the, you know, interior floors. This was, good, you know, just a temporary bedroom. And then up here, this was where I was doing the town's alchemy. But now that we have an alchemy shop, everything is done there. Oh, yeah, I uh, this now. The next floor is enchanting, which is not as used as much, but it still has some enchantment stuff in it. I still use it. Yeah, I think this mm -hmm. was here last time I came on. But yeah. maybe not quite this complete yet. But it, but the intention is that the enchanting is uh, moving elsewhere, right? Yeah, the library, yes, yes. Yeah, it's okay. Well, I wasn't going to say where. That's too... You're giving away too much, Scott. Oh. I was gosh. trying to tease it up, like, for like in the next episode. Oh, on Andrew's we'll... channel, obviously. <laughs> I gotta get people come to come. Come gotta... down here, guys. Come Oop. here. Oh, you want to go out? Fine. We can go. I just want to show you. Here, boy. Here, boy. You, you, you want to go out? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. You want to come on, Chewie. Come on, Chewie. <laughs> Check out the snowman. <laughs> Paper uh, space. Uh... Alright. Okay. And now we're out here. Oh, wow. <clears throat> you can see the spawn shack has been revised. I don't even oh. recognize it anymore. Yep, I, I completely overhauled it. Yeah, it was this... initially constructed out of dirt, no. and then I remember Scott saying, this thing needs an upgrade, so then I made it completely out of wood, and then uh, Scott took it upon himself, fair enough, to uh, give it uh, an exterior and an interior makeover. It was an extreme makeover! Uh, <laughs> and... Oh! Oh, you oh, never wow. got to see the full map room. I just no. remember that. No, that oh, was also one of the item frame uh, That issues. was Uber, yeah. yeah that... Dang it, stupid door, I'm gonna pickaxe you. <laughs> there, goddamn door. Anyways, uh, if you come down here, Uber did all this. Um, <laughs> it's now... He had, he had a giant... Yeah. He had a giant um, ball map oh, down here. Oh, this is nice. Now it's just a tribute to Halloween. Yeah. We, uh, we, uh, you can see all the maps are in here. Yeah. I like this room, though. I like the sort of random, little bit of randomness. Yeah. The new uh, smooth this, blocks this is good, too. Uber. And, uh, oh. it's especially called Spawn Shack, baby. Spawn Shack. Which, of course, is a riff off of a B-52 song. Mm -hmm. You see, kids, there is this plan. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's, you see E-Cat. <laughs> no, 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 not going <laughs> to wasn't going to be that specific. Well, fine, oh, since you mentioned E-Cat, that is the person who wanted to sue me for falling into a certain labeled block of lava. We'll get there. Oh, and actually, I'm surprised Scott hasn't pointed out, but a recent addition, and Scott didn't toot his own horn about this, you know, which I'm surprised, because that's, like, totally Scott. Um, no, not really. Is he's added street names. I noticed that. Oh, no, 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 that's Canis. Canis did that. Oh, that was Canis? Yeah. 
Canis. Oh. Uh, not me. Uh, Canis, under the direction and supervision of Scott, I can't be completely wrong here, uh, added these signs <laughs> to the town. Um, here's a memorial to the original bazaar that we had. I don't know if you were here for that either, Fuzzy, because you just disappeared very early on. So yeah, I, I, don't know. I pretty much was there on the first day, and um, maybe one more time had, after that. Yeah, we had this bazaar all in this lot, and then a baby zombie came and killed them all. And Brave Sir Dan here killed the baby zombie to avenge oh. their death. And uh, yeah, and I knew then you I, had it in you, Dan. Yes, thank you. And then I smashed most of that bazaar down to just this little bit left and then made a memorial out of it to those villagers. And down here is a zombie bug zapper because we got villagers that would just have bad trades, so we would put them in here, and then zombies would just come up Aww. and just stand here, and then we could kill them easily <laughs> because they're just standing here trying to get in, and they AKA, can't. Yeah, a.k.a. bait. Right. Mm -hmm. All right, do you want to see Danadia Condos next? Sure. Because we kind of just walked right by it. Oh. I kind of hate questions like that because it also invites, you know, a, a possible no answer, and that would oh, be awesome. it's never so, going to be no. Yay! <laughs> he didn't say no. <laughs> <laughs> I was a little worried there. Well, I just wanted to know what direction Andrew wanted to go next, you know. Oh, I don't... Anything. Just following mm -hmm. you guys. The answer is forward. Always forward. Oh. Forward, forward. thinking. Okay. Blah blah so blah. Go in here then. Yes, you can. Dan can give you the auditory auditory uh, tour here. Yeah. Uh, so this was my 2.0 condo in the sense of 1.0 was on the version 1.0 server, where I was still pretty new to constructing anything in Minecraft, and the intention of this was to be a bit more compact the units to be a bit more compact. But really the idea was in the early days of the server when we weren't going on to be 100 to 100 by 100 was for a place for people to essentially have a spawn point that wasn't actually at the actual spawn point which is a fair bit away from town. So this was always constructed with this uh, stone and uh, another brick construction. And this was the initial floor. And uh, actually, why don't we go into Scott's? Because Scott's is the uh, best decorated. Although he left his door open. I mean, were you raised in a barn? Actually, somebody might not have been Scott, but somebody was raised in a barn, leaving the door open. Anyway, so each one of these units, uh, slightly different uh, style. You'll notice as you look up and around, you see some consistencies from unit to unit in terms of the nether brick and the torches. Um, but the other ones are a bit more random. Uh, with the glass panes, uh, Scott has a really nice view actually into the uh, interior, uh, into the interior, good Dan, to the exterior. All units come with a uh, crafting table and a furnace and a bed. Uh, came with the units. Scott added the uh, bookshelf and the plant and the carpet, etc. And But then if you notice here, there's this ladder and an addition... Um, oh, there's like a little loft up here. It was about a few months ago, I added this extra floor because the common complaint was, hey Dan, we really like the condo, it's nice that it's convenient in town, but uh, they're kind of small, <laughs> apparently compared to what you had on the other server, so I was like, okay, let's just add another level. And so I made it so it looks like you would have never have known that this was the original intention. So most people have not used the you know the second floor. Well, we'll head on down here. And uh, roof access is uh, this way. It's not particularly exciting, but just so you know that it is here. <laughs> and since we're passing by, one of the more recent additions is the fire lounge, which was when I was adding the second floor. I had the oh. choice of not having this have a second floor at all. That, you know, that when you face the front of the building, that this just be an entranceway and there not be a second floor. But when I was constructing it, I thought, well, it'd be kind of weird to just have a unit here in the front of the building and not have, you know, something downstairs because it would be small. So I decided that this could be a common area for residents of the condo to pretend they like each other and <laughs> <laughs> and and converse. So Talk about of course, the weather. Talk about the weather. I, I like the view that you get here. It actually looks uh, quite nice uh, at night in particular, but you get a nice view of the of the park from here. And uh, so I just, you know, bricked it off and had this 
Uh, is that another another rack? Yeah, just burning for forever and a day. Mm -hmm. And then if we head on down, the quote unquote most interesting part of the condo, and some people are probably watching your video and they're thinking, wait, there's actually an interesting part. <laughs> um, where you see these five units here, this was the initial art gallery, and it was all along these walls. And I decided that A, it wasn't a very good use of space, and B, really wasn't accessible to new people on the server. They're like, hey, have you visited the art gallery? They're like, no. And they're like, where's that? The condo? And there'd just be like this awkward silence, because I'm like, that really doesn't make any sense. So just, <laughs> just in the last month, these units were added. Not that we've had a rush of applications or anything like that, uh, but this is a better use of space, I thought. There was initially actually men's washrooms and women washrooms uh, in this space, and baths, I should say baths. Mm -hmm. And so then what I did, even though it's not finished yet, this is the laundry room, which of mm -hmm. course has a uh, dryer and washer, which right now you use... your imagination. <laughs> yeah. It's like an imagination vacation. Uh, there's a really old Simpsons reference. Wow, I'm old. Um, and then here is the bathroom. Literally the bathroom. Uh, and um, I guess you just air dry yourself, like in the Star Trek universe where we don't really use water anymore. Right. It's like a, right? sonic, a sonic bath or whatever. Sonic bath, yeah. And then initially behind, like we came down here, came down these stairs. Mm -hmm. On both sides, there used to be storage. Half for one half of the building and then one half for the other. I consolidated uh, single chests for all units, including four of the five new units here. Uh, the spacing, you know, this was an addition after the fact. So I didn't have enough space for all the chests, so the, the unit C here gets its chest in its own space. And so then I decided that on the opposite side would be a gym, which is not finished yet. There's diamonds in this one. Hmm? There's diamonds in this one. Hmm. Whatever's unit 3, I guess. And then lastly, this is the vending machine area, which includes a fine selection of foods from the cafe. I love fruits. And vegetables. Yes. I, I, I'm, trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to behave so much. <laughs> and <laughs> It doesn't matter. My channel's not, you know, PG. No, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so... Uh, the condo, oh, I gotta complete the story, right? The most infamous or famous part, this is what the condo is probably best known for, is, is when you enter here, not the donation box, you see number one and number oh. two, and it's not that kind of number one and number two. Look at that fuzzy did it too. <laughs> <laughs> is the incinerator. I'm not and gonna open what, the door though. <laughs> and what e Cat did uh, one night is he opened that hatch and he jumped in. <laughs> <laughs> and then he said he was going to sue me for his death, and we pointed out, um, A, it's labeled as incinerator. What do you think an incinerator does? There's a hatch on, and uh, I think Scott came to my defense in terms of it being properly labeled and safety. You know, it was blocked off and glassed. It's not a phrase, glassed off. But anyway, uh, so anytime we want to make fun of ECAT, which, you know, is... All the time. All the time. We just there's often jokes about the uh, the incinerator in the uh, condo because I mean whenever you think of a condominium you obviously think of an incinerator, right? Okay, so it's a useful thing when you have junk you want to get rid of it. Well, that was the uh, yeah that was the idea. And initially, after I completed the condo, I had some ex excess gubs, uh, another term for right for extra stuff, and so away it went in there. And uh, I don't know. <laughs> Ecat might have burned to death more in the incinerator than I've actually gotten rid of stuff in there, but anyway. <laughs> Alright, so you want to come this way, go to the directory, and then we can go to the Slime Funhouse. Ooh, Slime Funhouse. Yeah. yeah, and the music hall, that's right. Um, here's the There's a lot to see. directory. It's supposed to map out like where everything is. I started it, and uh, this was also part of the uh, land transfer to uh, Scott. Yeah. I don't think you've... Oh, that's right. We're going to update it. I was about to say, I don't think you've done anything with it since I transferred it to you, but... No, um, but eventually, okay, so we got the slime fun house that Dan's working on, but it, you can use it, it's it's fun. Yeah, the bouncy fun house, well, that, I, it was initially the archery range, mm -hmm. and then the archery range moved, and we'll get to that, which was also constructed by me, the second version of the archery range, and transferred to Scott, and then this became the bouncy fun house. Mm, uh, it's not as bouncy I, as I thought it would be. 
that I owned, and then uh, just jump from the top, and there you go. We. Uh, Shorty Smalls was initially going to work on this with me, and then when we hadn't heard from him in a while, Uber said he would, and then we kind of used up all of the slime that we turned into slime blocks, and then I kind of went, ah, I mean, I knew what to do for it, but I just kind of lost interest, and so I thought rather than let it just go into decay, air quote, that I transfer it to somebody that would be interested in doing something with it, and that was slash is Scott. Okay. Okay. Nice. All right, so that's, that's quite bouncy. I like it. Ooh. All right, now come this way. We're gonna go behind the condo because we got a couple things over here to show you. Yeah. Oh, and I forgot to point out. We can see it on the way back. There is also actually a uh, a pool for a condo residents as well. Mm -hmm. This is the um, squid farm. We have a oh, and uh, of course the settler from Civilization One. Dusky built it for uh, Dan. Oh, neat. Uh, uh, just before I go, does anyone have a uh, fence post in their inventory? Because uh, someone knocked out a fence post. I actually post. do. Well, I have them just coincidentally. Would you, would you mind fixing that for me? Because so, that must have, somebody knocked it off or got blown up or something. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Which now explains how I saw creepers uh, on the property of Denadia Condos in the recent weeks. I didn't know how that was possible because it was torched up, and now I know. Sorry to interrupt the uh, dialogue, but that just kind of caught my eye. Okay. Yeah, and the uh, um, oh yeah, farm here. That was um. Oh, that was very oh, sandy. This is cool. Yes, yes. I was about to say Lisa, and this is and, Scott. Oh, creation. I like this. Yep. I, I built this greenhouse, and now I have these mushroom things coming with water. But with the next snapshot update, I don't know if you know, Andrew, we're gonna get mm -hmm. sponge, and we can get wet sponges which leak water, which probably would be a lot easier to put in this than the mushrooms, but... Hmm. Um, oh, beware of the creeper outside, by the way. And the uh, uh, endermite. Uh, uh, oh, endermite. Uh, uh, go away. Go away. Can I, wow, that okay, really did a lot of damage. Now, those that, things are annoying. Yeah, where did that come from? They're like ankle biters 2.0. Yeah. Okay, so... Alright, that's, that's the greenhouse. Actually, probably should close off the other door. Where I see you, creeper. Where is he? I'm trying to kill him. No. Ah. Come here, you. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. Oh, zombies! Yeah. Zombies are coming. No, oh, jeez. Uh -oh. Yeah, this is this is the fun part at night where things start coming out. Uh, I can see I can see Fuzzy Fuzzy's uh, town or house from here. Yeah, you're. This is Mackie's ranch that you're attacking something in. <laughs> You know, I can see people just skipping past most of this video to get to where do they actually fight something? Yay! Yeah, we're fighting some things. Impromptu fight. Fight, fight. Creeper. Da, 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 da. creeper. Shoot the creeper. Whoa, sorry, Dan. That's okay. Witch. <laughs> witch. Where? Where's the witch? Kill the witch. Burn her. Oh, I see her. Zombie yeah. behind you, Andrew. I'll get it. Oh, I see a, I see a. Oh man, there's a lot of monsters just, over there. Oh, oh, oh <laughs> run away! No! <laughs> oh, we want to tour. I know. Oh my god. <laughs> oh jeez. I didn't realize I was gonna have to survive the zombie apocalypse too. <laughs> yep. The zombies are bad in this part of town. They really are. Yeah, we better get away. This from is the rough up. part of town. Skid Row. <laughs> Skid Row. <laughs> Things are really going well in town until the zombies moved in. Ah, yeah, just, you know. Oh, Lord, Lord, a skeleton, and I think another witch is showing up in the back there. Ow! Oh, Skelly? Yeah. For reals? No, no Ender Pearl for you, zombie. I said no. Skelly? Die. Alright, let's get out of here. Come on. Let's get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry. Well, that was a nice little excursion. We got our exercise. Yep. We got our we got our uh, slaughter on. That's where you collect the squid. I don't think we should go down there. No. <laughs> uh, nah. That's not a good idea. All right, that's Mackie's Ranch, where you can get horses, breed donkeys, any sort of transportation you want. It's very rustic. Um, and I have no idea what building this is. I, I don't know who built it or why. This thing? Oh. I think you'll find out by looking at the sign. Oh, this has got to be Nermonia. Ah. Nope, this is Dan Nadia Limited. Yep, this is the oh, corporate I meant office the of big thing over here. Sorry. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, this thing. 
In any limited, this is my corporate office. Oh, cool. It's where I, it's where I store my materials for my various constructions, and I also notice note at the very back the sign. What materials? Oh, there are some materials. First three chests I looked in were empty. <laughs> yeah. Lots of diamonds in this one. All right. I'm counting. Uh, you distract him. <laughs> Ooh, <arrow. laughs> Dan, look over here. Hey, look. Look at this. Hey, look. Look what I got. Look what I got. <laughs> look these Unless it's shiny, things. that's not going to work. Uh, no. Let's see. I got some shiny stuff right here. Look. Now it's too late. Now, now I know you're just toying with my emotions. <laughs> I just see this sign notes what I own, what I operate, and my uh, partnerships on the server. Mm. It was just... Because I had so many different constructions throughout town, and there, so there was a chest here, and a chest there, here's a chest, there a chest, everywhere a chest, chest. Uh, I decided to consolidate it in, uh, to one space, and so it turned into this construction. Okay, uh -huh. and then we'll go to the right now. This is... Uh... Eags. Yeah, oh, okay, Eags, okay. Um, this was a emerald exchange, I think, or something? Yeah. Yep. Some sort of exchange. Emeralds, yep. Emerald Emporium. Oh. Mm -hmm. But, uh. Ooh, there's a record here. Hmm? Just laying there? What? Oh, it was in the. I... Okay. Here we go. What was in there? Dan, may I have this dance? Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> I can't hear the music, but. Okay. Oh, okay. I can hear it. You might have the music. Just, I'll, I'll, I'll lead. Yeah. You don't need to hear the music. Uh, uh, <laughs> I thought I was leading. No, no, no. Both lead. <laughs> man, even in Minecraft, I dance like a white man. Anyway. <laughs> I just made myself dizzy. <laughs> oh, Lord. I, got, I got lost in your eyes, Dan. Oh, my God. <laughs> You were the university, you were the last. <laughs> what? Oh wait, oh, to quote myself from an upcoming episode of Turncast, Flick's hair back. <laughs> uh, you know, we bounced more inside the Emerald Emporium than we did in the bouncy fights. <laughs> Obviously. Okay, so, further to the right, we had the obsidian little farm thing there. Um, I think that was Shorty, I'm not sure. <laughs> I can't believe it. Yeah, no. that sounds right. Okay, and I built this rook thing here to farm uh, dark oak up there, so that way I wouldn't be bothered by mobs. <clears throat> this is the transportation hub for the subway, where you can get shuffled off to wherever you want to go, to Mackey's or to Chris's or to Uber's. Oh. Uh, it's still under construction. It's yeah, it was started by me, the... Uh... I call it polyrail. Started by me and transferred to Scott as part of that previously mentioned on a couple occasions land transfer. Okay, and I think I need to finish. We need to finish uh, everything in town before we move to external stuff because I think Grimvex is just on the edge. So we'll yeah, we'll, we'll, go, we'll check him out later. Yeah, we got a few more buildings left. Yes, we do. Um, okay, this is the Dark Oak Park that I built. I want to do something with this space, make it like a nice little. Uh, grove thing. There's uh, some benches there. Just sit and um, contemplate life. And yeah. Feed the ducks and. Okay, so the guy with the axe and the hammer. This is the forge. Mm -hmm. oh. um, Uber built the guy first out of cobble, but I didn't like it. I wanted to make it look pretty, so I made it look like this. And so he's like a uh, Santa Claus or something. <laughs> it looks a dwarf and Santa Nordic. Claus. Yeah. S Santa Claus meets Daniel Boone. You can. I like the redstone on the uh, on the axes, the axe and the hammer. That looks cool. It looks like I don't know. It makes it look like it's striking something hot. You know. Yeah. Okay. So, do you want to go in the forge or not? Yeah, well, well, let's go check it out real quick. Might as well <laughs> briefly. Yeah, and I said Uber built this, right? Yeah, yeah. He built yep. the whole forge. Yes, he did. Oh, cool. <clears throat> And now we have tons of iron to be in here, so it's all good. And we have some gold and fuel. We have blaze rods now like crazy because of our blaze farm, which... I'm trying to remember who built the farm. It wasn't... I don't think that one was Shorty. That was somebody else. Um, 
That might have been Blower. I'm not sure. Yeah, the forge has our iron, gold, as well as our coal supply. And blaze rods. And this is the cow farm in here. So I have to go down. Actually, it's cow and pig Funny farm. Moo -moo. Yeah. <laughs> well, I kept the name. The, yeah, because we had, we had a different structure for the cows. And uh, mm -hmm. and then uh, Majin wanted to move them out of town. So now uh, it's farther down. Okay, so here we go. Here's the pigs. There's only a few. And here are the cows. Here again. Hmm. I'm getting some milk. Yeah, good idea. That's why we came here. Dan, grab some milk. Ta da! Dun 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 dun. <laughs> yeah, you wish you could play some music for these kind of intervals where you're just running down the hall real quick. Well, if Andrew turned around, he would see me holding a sign. Q Ace of Base. <laughs> I saw it. I saw that sign. And it opened up your eyes? My eyes were already open, but yeah. <laughs> 